So we're just going through scrutineering right at the moment. So they um, basically check over all the car, all the safety equipment, fire extinguishers, first aid kits, make sure all the lights and sirens and all that sort of stuff works. Make sure all the seat belts are uh, up to date for seats. So the fortunate thing is for us is that it's a brand new car, so we're lucky on that one. And um, so yeah, they still do a general check over of all the safety equipment so that um, if we do have an accident, we're uh, not gonna have something break on us. A couple of days ago we uh, tested the truck, gave it a, a good shake down, a good run, um, just because it's the first time that since we, it's been in Australia we've actually driven it down a dirt, dirt road in sort of race condition. So it performed really well, then we brought it back and uh, had done our final prep, span it check, just because everything's new, uh, just to go over and make sure everything's right. And um, you know, it was nice just to then have a relaxing sort of day yesterday um, after being doing a heap of pre running earlier in the week in the Can Am uh, for three days. So up and back, the thing track, you know, 450 k's each day, it takes a bit of a toll on your body. So it was nice to get the body a rest. And, uh, now it's nice to get closer to the race um, with the qualifying tomorrow prologue and, uh, and then Saturday race down and race back on Monday. Um, the excitement's starting to build. Scrutineering is all finished for tonight. Uh, we've had plenty of people come and check out the Spares Box truck, which is awesome. Uh, huge crowd here checking all, all the cars out. And tomorrow we've got uh, qualifying uh, for start positions for the race on, on Sunday. So looking forward to tomorrow and we'll uh, see you then. to go and do our site lap around the pre track and uh, then we got about three hours wait until uh, our qualifying time so just go and check out the track make sure we know where, we, where we're going which we do because we already have it mapped but uh, yeah just see what if it, how much it changes from you know 165 cars going on it so it'll be interesting so qualify soon time to get serious Prologue's really, really important, especially here. Um, you know, further towards the front, you can start. If you can start in the top 10, you've got a big gu uh, dust gap between the cars. You know, it's really important for tomorrow, especially because the tr most important part of the weekend. So we just uh, finished our site lap. Um, the track is uh, pretty smooth. A little bit, you know, they've watered the track a heap, so there was a little bit of moisture on top. So it um, felt like it had a heap of grip still. And by the time we go out in another three hours, I'm sure it will change totally um, to the opposite and it will, it will be, should really grip up by that time. And um, hopefully it's a little bit rougher after a fair few cars run through. So um, we'll wait and see how we go with qualifying.
qualifying uh, is done and dusted. We uh, ended up 20th, probably um, a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, a couple of areas uh, of the track was me sort of checked up a bit too much and lost a bit of momentum. And then um, you know, through some of the tight stuff towards the end, we uh, you know we're in the wrong gear, sort of try to pick the right, well, pick the wrong line. So. It's just time in the car, brand new, trying to get to, you know, a bit more seat time and um, qualifying unfortunately isn't one of my strong points um, as a racing car driver but uh, yeah, we race very well. Tomorrow is a lot, you know, will be a quick day, um, you know, so we, we will you know, hopefully be able to pick up a fair few spots tomorrow and if we have a clean run and try to get into the top 10 to run home on Monday. So. Stay tuned to tomorrow and we'll see how we go. Like it was running fine. Yeah, it's probably fine, mate. Source better. <laughs> Fixes everything. K I've got cable ties. Cable ties, cable the gun source better. Duck Always, tape. yeah. Trace surely. tape. Always surely we've got it. Yeah. What do you reckon? What's the story, Rapid? Uh, looks like we've got a throttle linkage problem, mate. We're going really good, having a sweet run. Got stuck behind a buggy with a bit of dust and then uh, Thing just tapped out, no throttle anymore, so he's rolled to a stop, and uh, I can get in you know, the boys are trying to find something with the fly by wire throttle, so hopefully they can repair it and at least get us to the finish line so we can run home tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know what, what it is. Something electrical, hopefully. That's Keep disappointing, that's, mate. Uh, oh, mate, very disappointed. But um, car was running really well. We felt like we were having a good run down. We yeah, had a fair bit of dust because we already started start 30 seconds behind caught the cars in front of us um, so we're right on a buggy in front of us and um, a bit of that happened just over the hill here just come over hill uh, engine running some, uh, no throttle cutters. so uh, like anyway that's how it is
we uh, we got back to the pits. We obviously pulled off about 170 k's and with an issue with the engine, um, which we found out it's a fly-by-wire system. It's a motor that controls that system at the front of the engine. This is what we think that's failed. Um, fortunately, we have a spare and um, looks like we'll be back in the race for tomorrow. We'll go race back. We've already been up to see the organisers to get seated so that we don't um, start behind a heap of can ams and have to run them over. Um, so, but you know, it's a little bit disappointing. The truck was awesome. Um, you know, uh, Andrew, the nav my navigator, he was doing an awesome job as well. And uh, yeah, it's just disappointing for the whole team with uh, all the effort that we've made and um, about that. But uh, we'll see if we can redeem ourselves tomorrow. Thank you. 